Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, since my first video did so well and a lot of you have many follow-up questions, I did a, I thought I would do another uh, comparison for Absolab and Arcanes, but this time it's going to be a 17-star Arcane versus a 22-star Absolab 5-set effect. So the 5-set we're talking about is weapon, uh, cape, glove, shoulder, shoes. So... Basically, in those five sets is just going to be the basis I'm going off of, and obviously there is going to be some differences between if you choose to have an arcane weapon versus not having an arcane weapon and using an absolute weapon, but that's just the basis that I'm going off of, that everything you use for five set is going to be either all Absolab or all arcanes. And I do want to let you guys know before we start this video that KMST, I think, is coming out with a new patch so that there is going to be a better mix and match of set effects from Arcane and Absolab, meaning if you don't use the five sets from either effect, you can alternate and have like one weapon in or one piece out. That way you can mix and match easily. So the last effect usually is 30% boss for either set effect. But with the new change that is coming out in KMST, I believe it's going to be 10%. And the other 20% is going to be split in set effect 2 to 4. So I'm excited for that change. And I'm sure all of you who are progression type players who don't fund as hard are going to be excited for that change as well. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding what you want to go with. So let's get started. The first thing we want to look at is the 5 set effect. So as I mentioned, this is going to be changed with the KMST effect uh, because it's just uh, going to be better mix and match down the line. But overall, I think the set effect remains basically the same, if I'm not mistaken. And again, this is from my previous video, 20 stats and 40 attack difference from Absolab to Arcane. And let's compare the armor sword forcing. Uh, I'll talk about weapons in a bit in my spreadsheet, but just talk about armor because it's just the easier way uh, of talking about things for now. So for armor, we have a 22 star Absolab versus 17 star Arcane, and that is 131 stat, 92 attack, plus seven for gloves. And then for Arcanes, it is 70 visible stat, plus uh, 25 weapon attack. Or magic attack if you're you know magic attack and for gloves it is also seven extra bonus and then now let's look at the clean cape difference it is 20 stats and four attack worth of difference as you can see here same thing for the gloves same thing for the shoes and for shoulders a bit special with 21 stats and 10 attack so that's it for that and uh Let's look at a bit of the weapon. Uh, so for the weapon, it is 90 attack difference, at least for two-handed sword. Obviously, if you don't use a two-handed sword, it's going to be different for you. Uh, 40 stat difference and 10% IED. So now we have this spreadsheet right here. And on let's look at the left side first, this whole section. So for this whole section, I broke it down into the flame difference, the... Uh, clean stat difference excluding the weapon which I'll calculate later on and the set effect difference and this is basically the same thing that you saw in the previous video I mean the, well the previous video and the previous part of this video and essentially uh, it's going to be 40 strength difference uh, just gonna be a guesstimate of the flame difference and the shoulder obviously has no flame and weapon I just assume a T7 attack for both of the weapons and there's going to be a, a 76 attack difference for um, the T7 attack of an Arcane and a T7 attack of an Absolab. So in total we have a 120 and uh, for strength and we have uh, 76 for attack. And then for the clean stat difference as I outlined previously it's going to be 24, uh, 20 and 4 for strength and attack and it's going to just basically be 21 and 10 for the shoulder and then you add all of this up into a total of 81 strength and 22 attack and then now we're on to the the set effect which is 20 strength and 40 attack and then you add all of these totals up for a grand total of 221 strength and 138 attack 
and that's pretty much a number we'll add on later on but now we can move on to this middle section which is when i broke down the arcane and Absolab and compared them so for again we're using Absolab two-handed sword and arcane two-handed sword because i personally use it for you it may be different if you don't use a two-handed sword and let's go first with the Absolab two-handed sword and this is the total attack stat and everything i did this because the scrolling and the whole uh scaling of the star force gets pretty funky so i just did it from you know clean and everything so we're gonna assume a 15 percent scrolling which is a four strength nine attack type of scroll and so the first roll we have is basically a uh, hundred which is 10 times 4 uh, strength per scroll and then plus 60 as the clean default and then we also have the attack which is 9 times 10 plus 205 clean so 9 times 10 is the scrolling and this is basically what we're starting with after scrolling and then for star force it's a bit weird because for star force the 15 star a weapon gets 2% of its attack uh, each scroll so I mean each star so we basically have a default 40 plus strength onto the 15 star star force and then for the attack we have a 111 attack on top of the 295 that we had previously and then 17 star I just have it uh, as 166 and 424 this, these numbers are not really important these two numbers so i crossed them out but it's there if you guys want to reference it because we're comparing 22 star absolute lab right and then for 22 star absolute lab sword the end result is going to be at 91 on top of the 50 uh 15 star absolute lab and it's going to be 231 strength and for attack same deal we have to add the 15 star uh, 406 onto the 78 attack we get from the seven extra stars and we have a grand total of 484 attack now we move on to the Absolab armor star forcing and this is the same thing that i showcased in the previous part of this video and in my last video and that's essentially you know seven extra attack for gloves at 99 everything else is 92 attack and for strength it's going to be 131 strength each item for 22 star and that's only for star force only doesn't consider the clean item stats doesn't consider scrolling it doesn't consider any of that it just considers uh purely the star force bonus and we get a total of 524 strength and 375 attack and then now we add the two total from the sword and the armor pieces together and we have a grand total of 755 strength and a grand total of 859 attack the reason we don't use scrolling for the armor pieces is because it's essentially the same thing regardless of what scroll you use and it's just going to be a plus seven for a 30 percent scroll and the slots are i think the same i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure they're the same so it, they cancel each other out between the absolute lab and the arcane and there's really no reason to you know compare those numbers because you know they cancel each other out anyways and then now we move on to the arcane and for the arcane to end a sword again we consider the scrolling star force and clean stats and we assume a 15 percent scrolling just like before and we have again same scrolling of four strength and nine attack for 15 percent scrolls and for scrolling clean we have a total stats of 140 strength and we have a 385 attack same uh formula as before we just use the attack or strength times the 10 scroll slots that it has and then plus uh the original base clean attack and we get 385 and 140 strength and then for 15 star again the two percent scaling yada 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 um we have 180 strength because we add 40 on top of the uh 140 from before and then for attack we add 142 from the uh, 385 from before and for a grand total for arcane 17 star is going to be an extra 30 strength which is 210 strength total and an extra 26 attack on top of the 15 star 
and then we get 553 attack. Now we move on to the Arcane Armor Star Force, and this again the same thing that I showcased in the previous part of this video. Uh, gloves, again extra 7 attack compared to other pieces, everything else is going to be 25 while the gloves is going to be 32 attack. And for strength, we have the same exact strength uh, on all four of these items at 70 each. And so we have a grand total of 280 for strength and 107 for attack. And then we sum these two numbers up at the end and we have 490 strength and 660 attack. And now comes the sort of the finale and of the comparison. So let's move on to this comparison where we're comparing Absolute Lab 22 star item and a 17 star arcane item and we're assuming a score of one attack is approximately 2.4 strength. Uh, it could be different for everybody. I know for one of my other friends who is more whale, it goes to 2.2 or something like that. But for our intended purposes, we're just going to assume 2.4 strength. And so for the strength on the Atfil Lab, we're just essentially using the number that we calculated here, which is the total gains from the weapon and Star Force. And uh, the attack, same thing, we use the, this number right here on the total gains from Armor and Star Force on Absol Lab. And we have a great grand total score of 2816 strength equivalency, right? And then for the arcane item, we basically use this, uh, this difference right here, which is the extra compared to an Absol Lab. The extra stats that we gain from flame, clean stats that effect, uh, which is 221 plus the number we calculated at 17 star for star forcing on the weapon and armor. And we get 490 and we get a total of 711. And then for attack, we do exactly the same thing. Again, just go back and use the 138 that we found here. And then we add that on top of the 660 that we found from the Star Force, and we get a grand total of a 2.6k. Oh, sorry, we got a grand total of 798 attack, and then in strength equivalency is 2.6k and 26.2, which is uh, 200 about 200 strength less or worse than an Absol Lab 22 star item. So I guess maybe like a 8, I would say maybe like 19 or 20 star arcane is roughly equivalent to a 22 star Absol Lab item. And Absol Lab, I think a 20 star would be roughly equivalent to a uh, 17 star arcane. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it's just my assumption and uh, assertion and everything. And then now we have the million dollar question, right? What is, what if you use a 17 star arcane instead of a 22 star Absol Lab sword? What's gonna happen then? So let's say we do that, right? We have a four set Absol Lab effect, so we lose a five set effect and we lose 30% boss and 20 attack from completing the five set. And uh, we also have to account for the flame difference and the total attack difference from the Absol Lab and arcane. So, here we have the arcane wins 145 attack and how we calculated that was basically having this number right here, the 553 attack from 17 star arcane subtract by the 22 star Absol Lab and then we add the flame difference of 76 because it is 76 attack in favor of arcanes and then we have 145 total attack in favor of the arcanes assuming we go the arcane route. And let's say we go the Absol Lab route, we basically lose this effect, right? But we gain 21 strength, which is basically the 231 subtract by 210 strength right here. And we get 21, and then we also lose a set effect, which is 20 attack and 30% boss. So, which is better, right? Losing 145 attack or gaining 21 and 20 attack and 30% boss. So this is something that Delusion Dash made, and it's not mine, but the, these are like my stats I am put it into the calculator. And essentially, uh, it should be roughly around the same for you guys as well, but going 145 attack routes, which is the 17 star arcane route, does lose 1.2% final damage for you. 
Um, but what's important to consider is, as I mentioned previously, KMST is coming out with the new patch, which means I'll hit GMS in like a year, probably. Just a little guess, maybe like six months uh, minimum. So for that, it's going to be a mix and match type of thing. So you could technically use a 17 star arcane and when that change comes, it doesn't really affect you. Or you can choose to just stick with like a 20 star, 21 star Absolab weapon. And I think that would be sufficient. But it's up to you, again, which one you want to use. If you don't see yourself liberating or going black mage when the set effect happens, then I think having an arcane might be worth it for you. Like a 17 star arcane. If you see yourself liberating by them, then maybe like a 22 star absolute absor or like a 20 star absolute absor would also be good. So it's all up to your intents and purposes and obviously do the math for your world and see which is cheaper to get. Uh, personally, I, I I would go for either one. Either one, honestly, is basically the same thing. Arcanes are a lot cheaper to... I'm sorry, Absolaps are a lot cheaper to boom and store force because it's a low level item. But Arcanes, you only have to go 17 to with it. So, you know, you, you pick and choose what you want. But that's not essentially the gist of this video. Uh, hopefully you guys found it helpful and if you guys did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any if you guys have any questions regarding this or you guys want me to do like another follow-up video with this uh, just tell me in the comment section below these videos did definitely take a lot of effort to map out and hopefully everything makes sense um, if I did anything wrong let me know if it's nothing major I probably won't re-upload this video but if it's something crazy and blah 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 then I'll probably re-upload the video but other than that that's it for this video I hope to see you guys in the next one